Well, now let's take a look at uh, asset import option. So as we already saw, uh, you just can right click and you have here some import option to import the file in the scene, open the file in a new file scene or import as a Maya reference. Also, as you maybe have uh, already noticed, uh, you can of course directly import by double clicking on any set to import it uh, directly. Um, you have some option in setting. If you want, you can switch this uh, shortcut to just simple left click. And you also have an asset uh, size, size multiplier here uh, to multiply the asset directly at import. Just one click and third time the, the size here. I will set it back to one and keep it to left click. Also, there is an option about how to deal with uh, shader at import. I will open the hyper shed, go to my asset with shader. Uh, you see by default, I'm on use existing one. It's a bit slower, uh, but a bit cleaner. Let's take a look if we are on create a new shader, which means that when I import an asset, it will create the shader associated, of course. Import is a shader. If I create a new one, it will create a new shader for each one. Okay, each one have a separate shader. But if we have use existing one, when I import an asset, asset it will check all the shader in the scene and compare to the import shader and if this shader is already existing, it will uh, use the same. It's a bit slower at import, but uh, more powerful in terms of uh, shading management. If I change something here in the same shader, of course. As uh, asset it is uh, all designed for uh, user-friendly experience, uh, there is a lot of little uh, workflow uh, details um, to help you to work in a better condition. For example, when you import an asset, it will automatically select this asset and set it to the move uh, transform tool. This way, you don't have to click select anything, you just can place it anywhere. Okay? And quickly uh, place it where you want. Uh, but due to uh, how Maya is designed, um, when you have a group, it's always a bit uh, complicated to select uh, the, uh, the entire object to then move it again. It's why I create a little uh, tooltip here. Uh, when you click on this icon, you are now on direct group selection, which means that when you select, click only click on one mesh, it will select automatically the upper parent one. And this way you can easily manage uh, group, okay, and uh, select it. Otherwise, you will only select the mesh inside. So pretty useful when you do layout things or thing like that. It's quicker. Okay, then by default, when you import an asset, it's created at uh, the origin or where you save it in your file. But in asset it, I design for you five import mode. Uh, the first one is here. You have the five mode in. It's uh, on the grid at origin or where you saved your asset. What we did here. I click at in that import the file. You have other one. The second one is replace. It will replace the selection. So I have a selection. I click that will replace by another asset. This way you can quickly switch an asset in the scene. It's also working with multiple selection, which is pretty powerful on artifact stuff or, or thing like that if you want of like here to change a bolt or screw.
really great. Of course, if you have nothing selected, you will have a warning pop-up because as it's replaced, you need to have something selected. Then, the third run is the same than modit. Uh, it will import uh, asset at selection average point. It works in component mode. It means you select something, it will import at the face. That also works on other component mode. If I select something this way, that will import at the select average of this. If I want to replace, boom. Okay, pretty powerful. Great. Uh, the fourth one is um, on top of. It's designed for when you want to stack, you know, if you want to stack a plank of wood or thing like that. Uh, I don't have here, but uh, yes, with this one, maybe. So, of course, that need a, a selection to works. Otherwise, it can't import. Uh, yes, let's say Oh, yes, on top of, of course. So I import one. Then I want to import on top of this one. It will automatically um, um, it will automatically uh, found, sorry, the bondy box of the object to place it on top of the object. And you can easily stack this way. then add variation or you can do after what you want and the last one which is really powerful it's uh, um, automatically drag and drop the asset into the scene for example i will take this guy so the first time you will have a bit of time you see the cursor is now changing to a cross which is uh, which means you are in a drag place mode and you can drag directly into your scene your asset so it's not a real scatter tool for that you have earned it but it's a powerful quickly uh, place uh, asset you have two shortcuts if you place and hit shift selected you can scale it with a left right drag and drop and if you use control you can rotate it to quickly place it uh, let's use this one yes okay in order that the tool works well and detect the surface be careful that the surface need to be at the root of the of the scene for example this one is not at the root if i want to detect this piece, this mesh, you need to have um, it at the root of the scene here. And now when I will import something, that will work on it. So yes, now you know everything about Asset 8. I really hope you will like it. Um, if so, please uh, think to put a little cut on, your, on uh, the product page if you buy it on uh, Grimroad and with Xstore. And also any feedbacks or idea for future updates on the Discord uh, would be welcome uh, to improve the tool. And I would also like to have a screenshot of your library to see how you import your asset, how you use the tool. is always something great as a designer to see how user use the tool. Thank you. Bye-bye.